What is up everybody, it's CJ Place here and I'm back with another Sims 3 World Overview and today we're going to be looking at Quackenbush or Quakenbush Island. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it though, but I just came across this world y'all and I have never seen it before like ever and I wanted to download it and check it out. Now this world does use every single expansion pack and it does not use any stuff packs and it also does not use any store content. There is some custom content that you will need to install when you download it but other than that I think that's pretty much it. As y'all can see the world is not super big and it's also unpopulated so you might want to put some sims in this world if you would like to but let's go ahead and get into it because I kind of want to see what this world looks like. So why don't we start down here in this little town area. Maybe we'll start over here at the main street fire station and I guess we'll just work our way around so let's start over here first all right so we're down here at the fire station it's kind of looking like a church or a house I like it though <laughs> maybe it was like a house or something converted into a fire department I don't really know but you do have your fire trucks down here there's also some workout equipment over here on the side with a little stereo but let's go ahead and open up the building because I want to see what's on the inside so when you come in you have like a little sitting area over here you have some computers over here in this area over here appears to be like the little kitchen like break room area so that's pretty cool and when you go back over here this way this looks like it's a little meeting room where they just sit in and you know go over plans and stuff like that and over here you have like another sitting area and then you also have a bathroom over here in the corner now let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick so when you go upstairs you have more bathrooms over here you have some bookshelves a place to sit by the tv and then you have these two rooms over here where you can have your firefighter sleep in now this lot does have this little shed or like this extra little building right here so let's open it up real quick oh okay so it's a part of this okay okay i was just trying to figure it out y'all <laughs> but anyway it's a really nice fire department now let's go across the street to saint morgan chapel let's check this out all right y'all so we're down here at saint morgan chapel and i really like the way it looks i like the roof right here but let's go ahead and open it up real quick so when you come in you have like a little like table right here in the middle but when you come into the building you have your pews or your park benches i guess where your sims can sit on and then you have like a little area over here maybe this is like a little altar or something but you could definitely put like a wedding arch in here if you wanted your sims to say get married or something like that so that's always an option and uh, why don't we go ahead and look at the back of the lot really quick so over here in the back you have plenty of graves again this world is unpopulated so you will have to you know put your own graves down or you know populate the world if you want to all of these graves are decorative so you can just remove them if you need more space you also have your mausoleum and like a little place to sit over here in the corner too and i think that's probably everything for this lot you do have like more places to sit like right here and right here though but that's pretty much everything on this lot i guess except for the weather stone right <laughs> but anyway let's go ahead and go over here now to the divine rags okay so we're down here at the divine rags now this is a consignment store let's go ahead and open it up real quick oh okay so this side is inaccessible your sims cannot go over here but you can go over here though so this appears to just be like a little clothing area like a little clothing store or something like that you have your clothes racks your mannequins in the window you have your consignment register and then you have like a computer desk back here and this is like a little break room or maybe like a storage room it does have a bookshelf on the inside of it though but yeah you have like a really nice consignment store if you need one so why don't we go next door to the homeopathic pharmacy all right so we're down here at the homeopathic pharmacy now this is listed as a elixir store so let's open it up real quick so when you come in you have like a little sitting area over here i like how the coffee table is at a slant that's kind of funny you also have like your consignment registers over here and you have some bookshelves and then over here in the back you just have some computers that your sims could use and then there is a little room over here where you can have your sims practice alchemy or chemistry and or you can have them read because there's a bookshelf right there too so why don't we go ahead and go across the street and we'll check out the zero to hero so this is a gym Ooh, this is kind of nice. I like the blue, like, color on the windows and stuff. But let's go ahead and open this up really quick. So when you come in, you have, like, a little sitting area over here. I like the little floral design on these chairs. It's kind of, it kind of reminds me of, like, I don't know, like a tropical island or something like that. But uh, moving on this way, you have some bathrooms in the corner. And going back this way, ooh, you got a swimming pool. But, y'all, that water looking kind of dirty. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's, like, green. I guess it looks green because of, like, the wallpaper. But, like, y'all, mm -mm. I don't think I would want to dive in there. Not at all. So the creator said they didn't really use any stuff packs. But I know that these, like, 
towels right here and that this little gym bag came with town life stuff so you will need a stuff pack after all so you need that stuff pack but let's go ahead and keep moving on so let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have like another sitting area over here you have like a little kitcheny like break room type of area with a fridge and a coffee machine you have like another little sitting area over here in the corner and then when you scroll over this way you have plenty of treadmills plenty of weight machines there's also tvs in here so you got a lot of space for your sims to work out on this lot but now let's go ahead and go next door to it this lot is a salon but it doesn't have a name but it's at six main street so let's just check it out real quick all right so we're down here at the salon let's open it up real quick so when you come in you have like a little sitting area waiting room area and then over here you have like this little room i don't know if this is where you go for a consultation or where you go to pay for it i don't really know but you do have another room over here in the corner where you can have your sim come and give tattoos to other sims which is kind of cool and uh going back this way i think these are just like display windows yeah these are like display windows with like couches on them um but when you do go upstairs though you do have two rooms over here with these stylus stations on the inside you also have like a little place to sit in here and then over here you have a room with two drafting tables in here as well let's go ahead and keep moving on so let's check out this little area in the middle so this is the main street loo all right so we're down here at the main street loo and uh, you just have like a strip of trees there is like a little area right here in the middle maybe this is where the loo is or like the bathroom so let's go ahead and open it up real quick so yeah this is where the bathrooms are so you have like two bathrooms right here but y'all this world is literally giving me the fall vibe i like it i don't know y'all this world might be one of my new favorite ones i don't know <laughs> but let's go ahead and keep moving on though so why don't we go ahead and go over here to the main street dive so this is a bar let's check it out real quick so we're down here at the main street dive let's go ahead and open it up real quick so when you come in you have like these little booths right here by the front door you have a foosball table and then you have like a bar area which is really really nice i love the color scheme in here <laughs> and uh, you also have dart boards and there is a bathroom over here in the corner and there's also a jukebox over there in that corner too so you know you got a you got like a lot of stuff to do on this one little lot <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and go across the street and we'll check out the main street's cultural assets so let's check this out okay so we're down here at the main street's cultural assets uh, let's go ahead and open it up real quick so when you come in you have these statues over here on display you can have your sims come and look at it you also have some places to sit and there's also some art over here on the wall now there is an elevator so i'm gonna try to scroll up really quick yeah okay so when you go upstairs you have like some more places to sit some more artwork and then you have a gnome right here on displays and there's also a bathroom in the corner and then you have some more art over here as well but i'm kind of curious of something really quick y'all because i'm trying to figure out so like right here you have your grocery store your beer bistro and then you have like a little bookstore right here but i kind of want to see what this is because i know these are where the rabbit holes are but like i kind of want to just open up this building really quick just to see so like down here you have like a concession stand there's also some places to sit and then you have these bookshelves let me try to open up this lot just to see what's on the inside so there's really nothing here but a stairway and then in here you just have tables and then over here is kind of empty too so let me just scroll downstairs again oh okay so you have your rabbit holes down here okay so if for example if you wanted your sim to go to like the bistro they would come to the lot and go downstairs and then go inside of here that's interesting i was trying to figure out like how your sims would get inside okay <laughs> you know what let's check out this one over here really quick because this is like where the movie theater and the spa is and stuff so let me just scroll down really quick just to see like let's open it up is there anything on the inside no i don't think so um yeah so you just have your rabbit holes down here okay let's go ahead and keep moving on so we're gonna go over here to the main street plaza let's check this out all right so we're down here at the main street plaza so you have a fountain over here underneath this little overhang you also have plenty of places to sit down and i think that might be it for this a lot you could definitely add more stuff out here if you wanted to though it is like right in front of the city hall so that's pretty cool and uh let's go ahead and go to the main street archive so this is a library let's check it out real quick all right so we're down here at the main street archive let's go ahead and open it up so when you come in you have like some places to sit by the front door you also have a bookshelf going over this way you have like a children's room but they can play with toys or you know like read or just and hang out and stuff like that going over this way you have a maybe like a meeting room or something like that maybe they have like town 
hall like meetings here or something um there's also like a dry erase board here too and over here you have like a little study area with these tables where you can have your sim study or do homework or something like that and let's go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have more bookshelves and then more places to sit you also have some computers right here and going back over this way you just have more places to sit and read and then there is also a bathroom over here as well so that's pretty much it for this lot though all right y'all so we've seen everything over here in this area of the world let's go ahead and keep moving on so let's Let's go over this way really quick. So let's go ahead and check out the beach park. So the summer festival is going on right now, but let's just go ahead and check it out. All right, y'all, so we're down here at the beach park, and this is so nice. I like it. So of course, the summer festival, like I said, is going on right now. So you have your food concession stands. You have your pie and hot dog eating contest stands out here. You can have your Sims come take pictures if you would like to. There's some places to sit. And then going back over this way, you have a face painting tent, and then you also have the kissing booths. And there's also a snow cone machine over here as well and a circle goal so you definitely have some activities for your sims to do and then you also have like a little area over here where you can sit down as well okay well let's go ahead and keep moving on so let's go over here to the sandy beach let's check this out okay y'all so we're down here at the sandy beach so i see some lounge chairs out here where you can come and relax there is also a building right here so let's open this up so this is just where the bathrooms are you have some showers as well your sinks and your mirrors and stuff like that and then going back over this way you have more bathrooms over here on this side and then you do have like this little pier right here oh okay so this is the where the lifeguard stand is okay so you can have your sims be lifeguards if you want to on this lot but you do have like a little stereo and then there's a little place to sit and of course you are at the beach so you can definitely do a lot of water and beach like activities if you would like to all right so let's go ahead and keep moving on so you have these two like docks out here so this is the ulysses dock one and this one is ulysses dock two so let me just scroll down for a second to make sure i'm not missing anything so these are empty so there isn't really anything out here other than like the dock itself and then you just have places to sit and then you have like this building right here so this is the swordfish boating club i kind of want to see what this is i like the building but let's open it up real quick so when you come in you have a bathroom right here by the door and you just have places to sit there's also some fireplaces bookshelves you have another bathroom over here as well um and then there's also a stereo so maybe this is just like a place for your fisherman sims to come and just you know talk to other fishermen or just hang out and stuff like that there's also some telescopes out here as well and there is also a lot of boats out here too so you have like the speed boats and a sailboat you even have like the wind surfs out here too so you have a lot of stuff to do out here all right let's go ahead and keep moving on so let's go up here to the local freight pickup so let's check this out all right so we're down here at the local freight pickup and um let's try to scroll down i don't think there will be anything on the inside of these but you never know yeah so these are empty so i'm guessing these are just supposed to be like shipping crates you know you have like the crane that comes pick them up and like take them away so it's pretty cool um over here though you have the cargo administration center so let's just check out this really quick okay so these are empty but there are some stairs down here on this one there's also a dumpster here too let's scroll down so down here at the bottom you have your criminal career okay so it's called the smuggler's lair by the way okay so you can have your criminals come down here and work pretty interesting all right though let's go ahead and keep moving on though so let's go back over this way and let's go to the abysmal wooden bridge let's check this out all right y'all so we're down here at the abysmal wooden bridge and uh it is just a bridge you do have a parking lot space over here okay and then when you go over this way you have the bonfire object and you just have places to sit there's also a grill out here but i'm guessing this is where the bathrooms are yeah so you have your bathrooms over here but i think that might be it for this lot maybe this is just like a tourist spot or something like that i don't know i don't really know but let's go ahead and keep moving on so let's go over this way for a second and let's check out the uptown recreation park okay so we're down here at the uptown recreation park park and i see a soccer goal out here there's also some chess tables you have some picnic tables a grill there's also a little playground area over here as well with some spring rides and a swing set there is also some more like park benches all sprinkled around and then there is this little building right here so i'm guessing this is where the bathrooms are but let me just scroll down to be on the safe side yep this is where the bathrooms are so you just have like a really nice park out here okay so now let's go ahead and go across the street and we'll check out the alistair chapel Let's check this out real quick. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the Alistair Chapel, and let's go ahead and open it up real quick. So when you scroll down, you this one kind of looks similar to like the one that we saw earlier, but this one actually has a wedding arch on the inside, which is a really nice touch. So you could definitely come here and get married if you would like to. And then outside of the lot, you have some tables. There's a piano out here as well. And then when you go over here on this side, you have more tables and stuff like that. And I think that might be it for this lot, though. Okay, so you have like a really nice um chapel out here. 
I like that. Okay, y'all, so we've seen all of the community lots in the world. Let's go ahead and move on to some of the residential lots. So I'm not gonna get a chance to see all of them because there is quite a few, but I will scope around just to give y'all a general idea of what the houses in this world look like. So why don't I start off by showing y'all the house that I placed Elliot down at first. So he has this really nice beach house that's like right here by the water and I love it. I love the stone right here, like on the chimney. I think that's a really nice touch. Um, And I think he was trying to get into the water. Elliot, just relax for a second, dude. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and open up this house. I really like this house though because for one it's cheap and two it kind of gives you some room to kind of grow into you could definitely add more stuff if you would like but as you can see you do have some empty rooms there's a bathroom right here another bathroom over here as well you have a furnace kitchen um, and then there's also like a fireplace and then you have these slide in doors that lead out to a deck space out here and let me try to scroll upstairs I don't think there's anything above it no there's not so I like this house because you can move into it and it's really nice but you know you might want to add some stuff Elliot has like 7,000 simoleons so he could afford a bed or something like that so you know you could definitely like add more onto the house but when you scroll it down though you have like some extra space so you have a garage you also have like another room down here with some with another sliding door and then you even have a laundry room with another room right here that could be like a bathroom or maybe like um maybe a laundry room if you wanted it to be and or it could be like a nursery or something so you do have like a lot of extra space in this house which is a really nice touch but now why don't we check out the house beside his because i don't know if that one is furnished or not either but let's just check it out really quick so this one appears to be like slightly furnished you have like a bathroom you have a kitchen but you have like a lot of empty space as well so let me scroll down at the bottom so down here in the garage you just have a washer and dryer this one is very similar to elliot's house in the sense of it's not really that furnished though but all right let's go ahead and keep moving on so why don't we check out some of these houses over here because again i don't know if they're furnished or not so let's just let's check it out let's start with this one right here um let's scroll down for a second so this one is like the other ones that we just seen slightly furnished it has a bathroom and a kitchen um let me scroll down yeah so it has like a laundry space down here okay what about the houses beside it what about this one so this one is kind of like the other one it has a kitchen and a bathroom and then when you scroll down there's really nothing there okay and what about the house over here let's scroll down on this one really quick so this one is just like the other one has the kitchen and the bathrooms okay so let's go ahead and find some more houses so why don't we go over here to this house right here so this house is kind of secluded from all the other ones it's kind of like a, it's on its own personal island um but let's check out the inside really quick to see if it's furnished okay so it's not that furnished okay you have the bathrooms so let's scroll down again and you have a kitchen so this one is also not really that furnished so but i wonder if you could actually have your sim live here maybe i don't really know but you do have like a little sitting area outside of here and then you do have like this little gazebo area over here too um and i don't, I don't think there's anything left on this island i don't think um, it does have a little private beach area out here though. That's, so that's pretty cool. All right, so let me go back over this way and why don't we check out some of these houses right here really quick. So I don't know if these are gonna be empty or not on the inside, but let's just check them out to see. So this one just has a bathroom and a kitchen. What about this one right here? So this one is just like the other one that we just saw. What about this one? Let's scroll down on this one. So this one is just like it. And then what about here? This one is also the same. Okay, so these houses are kind of like the other ones, slightly furnished. But let's go ahead and keep moving on. So let's check out this little area over here. Let's check out this big house because I don't know if this one is furnished or not. Okay, so we're down here at this really big house. Let's go ahead and open it up really quick. Okay, so yeah, this one is kind of like how the other ones are too. So you have like a bathroom, you have your kitchen. So when you scroll upstairs, you have like two more bathrooms up here. Okay, and then in the backyard, so you have like another little gazebo and you have like a back deck space you have like another little back porch space over here too and you have like a really nice yard though so you could definitely add a lot of stuff out here if you want it there's also a garage right here on this house so let's scroll down to see so this one just has like the washer and dryer on the inside of it okay so what about these other houses because like i need to know <laughs> what about this one right here beside the chapel all right so let's try to scroll down and see yeah so this one is not really furnished what about this one right here yeah so this one is the same okay all right, so we've seen those two. What about the houses over here? I'm wondering if there are any houses in this world that are fully furnished. I'm not sure, but let's just check this house out. Okay, so this one is has a bathroom and a kitchen. What about this one? So this one has a bathroom and a kitchen as well. Okay, all right. So what about these houses over here? I think these might be the last ones in the world. So let's just check these out. Okay, so these look like the ones that we just seen earlier. So let me just check and see on the inside. Yeah, so same here. What about here? Same thing over here as well. And then what about this yellow house right here? The same thing as well. Okay. Well, <laughs> I think that was probably the last house, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully, I didn't miss any other houses, but I don't think that any of the houses in this world are really that fully furnished, though. 
but you know, maybe you might like that. I don't know. But anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this video. I have to ask, would y'all like for me to furnish a house or a couple of houses in this world for a separate YouTube video? Cause I would definitely do it. Like these houses are really nice, but I could definitely like put my own like little, you know, decorative touch on it. So let me know down below if you would like to see that. But anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this video. Again, this world is called Quackenbush Island or Quakenbush Island. I'm not really for sure how to pronounce it, but I think it's an amazing world, y'all. I really like the way it looks. It gives me the fall vibe and the tropical vibe. And I really like that. <laughs> uh, but let me know down below. Would you like to see me like furnish a house because i would definitely like to do it <laughs> but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video and i'll see y'all in the next one if you want this house i will leave a link down below but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this one and i'll see y'all in the next one bye thanks for watching